For 29 years, Bob Morris, his daughter Belinda, and a ton of friends and local residents have been staging the Great Temecula Tractor Race. At his home in Duluth, full of memories of this once popular event, Morris recalls how it first got started back in the mid-70s. He tells News 27 he had a neighbor behind him, and in the field of this neighbor's home, he found two old cars that had been converted to tractors used for farming in that day. He said he spotted one of them and wanted to rebuild it. So I went over to his place and there was these two old, old uh, cars sitting in his field. And I went over and looked at him and I said, do you think they'll still run? He put his arm around on my shoulder and he said, they sure as heck will or something like that. Anyway, and uh, I said, I really like the old Dodge. I said, I'll make you a bet today that if we can get them running, I'll race you from Murrieta to Temecula. And he said, the bet's on. So, so I did take it to Temecula. Morris, an artist of many mediums, has a colorful connection to this area, having designed Butterfield Square and commissioned by the city of Temecula to design and build those famous icon arches you see over the city's historic old town. The last time we saw tractors competing in this event was this time last year in a field just off Jefferson Avenue. But the crowd, according to City Hall officials, was disappointing, which the 67-year-old Morris says seems to have led to a cutoff of city funding for this event. They did back out on helping financially with it, and and we don't have a permanent spot. So each year, you know, you, we got to get all prepared with the fences and this, and, and all volunteer again. and, and um, but we needed the backing. Well, Morris says that's a shame because for years the Great Temecula Tractor Race resulted in thousands of tourists visiting this area and of course lots of dollars for local businesses. It grew and got bigger and bigger then we got you know real top entertainment and and it went on for two or three days and and with bigger tracks. And Will there be a 30th Temecula Tractor Race? Well Morris says if we all get behind the idea maybe it will happen. It should continue. It shouldn't have missed our 30th, but we can always make next year the 30th. Recalling the history of this great event, Morris reads us the final paragraph in a letter he wrote about he and his daughter's involvement in this event. Belinda well, and I will uh, look forward to this day probably more than any day of the year. What an experience it has been, and it really has. And as Morris says, we're waiting for the 30th, and hopefully we'll see number 33 on the track once again. Reporting from Duluth with photojournalist Paul Sirbu, Bill Lauren, News 27.